I wanted children since since we met really that was one of the first things we talked about like do you want kids how many do you want you know all those conversations picked out baby names all of those things from the moment she got married Vishali had longed to be a mother but first she had to fight cancer before embarking on an 18 month journey on IVF which was successful the first time around we were just really just so happy and all we just thought all of this is behind us now like we can just we can move on and we're going to bring a baby home in, in nine months. Her medical history meant Vishali's pregnancy was high risk, but she says despite this, she was not properly monitored and concerns she raised were dismissed. Their baby girl, Jaya, was born at 22 weeks, but died just 14 minutes later. To lose your baby is, I, I can't even explain it. There's, there's, there's no explanation and then when I went into surgery, I was obviously in shock because I'd lost, my, my baby had just died. I was bleeding and, and it was just quite, um, what's the word? Just quite unsympathetic and not compassionate at all. And it was just like, oh, well, Carl, what's wrong with you? That's kind of, that was the tone. I was like, what's wrong with you? And it just thought, well, I'm shaking because I've just been through a trauma. She begged for help to process her loss and was told to wait 12 weeks for therapy and continued to receive letters from the hospital reminding her of appointments no longer necessary. Her grief compounded by anger as data suggests her race may have added to the risk. I think it's disgusting. Um, I shouldn't be more likely to lose my baby because of the colour of my skin. Like, you shouldn't we shouldn't be losing babies anyway, but to know that you're, it's more likely to happen to me or to someone who's black because of their ethnicity, it's just shocking. We're in 2024. She is among parents who have written an open letter to the newly formed government to address inequalities in outcomes, as latest figures show that black babies were over twice as likely to be stillborn compared with white babies. Asian babies were over 50% more likely to be stillborn. And inequalities persist in neonatal deaths, with black and Asian babies more likely to die shortly after birth. We know that if the rates of baby death had been the same for white babies as for black and Asian babies, there would have been over 1,700 fewer deaths between 2017 and 2020. If you think about all of those babies' lives that could have been saved and all of those families who are now living in a different journey and a different life that they would have otherwise done. And it's totally unacceptable that we're just accepting this rather than challenging it. I think it sends the, the saddest and the most unacceptable message to these women that actually the, the fact that their babies have a different colour skin doesn't, it, they, are, they aren't seen as equal and as important as white babies. And I think nobody would want that message or that reality. Charity Sands supports the parents' cause for targeted action by government and the healthcare system to address the inequalities. An NHS spokesperson said, it is unacceptable for black and Asian babies to experience disparities in care. While the NHS has made improvements, we know much more work is needed to tackle inequalities. We are investing an additional £10 million of funding. Whilst Vishali hopes that sharing her story will serve as a reminder that behind every statistic is a family and their suffering is untold. I can't get pregnant anymore. So to to kind of look back at when we were pregnant with Jaya and think like that was our only chance at bringing a living baby home um, ourselves and me, for me to be pregnant and bring a living baby home. It's really hard to to fathom like how we've got to, you know, we're almost five years down the line now um, and we're still empty handed and all we've got is a like a you know, a little corner for her in the house. Shaman Freeman Powell, Sky News, Preston.